Great, good morning. Okay, so I've got this um, front end ears, if you like, or tags for the uh, wishbones mounted in. So I can start uh, welding these in now. So I'll do this right hand side, then I'll do the left hand side, and then I might actually start to put the front end together and um, start sighting the um, steering rack. Well, you can see I've been working away on the upper wishbone connections. Still a bit more work to do, but in exciting news, my bolts have turned up. So, um, yeah, it's worth actually taking some time to talk about bolts. Uh, a lot of people just use standard bolts. Depending on the application, that can be recommended or not. But if, you're in a, if you've got an application where there's any stress, or it's a critical component and you need to use at least as a minimum um, a cap head type bolt such as this. Uh, this is the 12 mil one. I'm going to use these on the lower wishbones because they're, they're quite cheap in the longer style um, type bolts whereas a half inch bolt, high quality AM bolt in half inch size is actually very very expensive. Uh, and this being 12 mil, that's going to be more than suitable, I think, for my lower wishbones. But for my upper ones, they are eight, 3 8 size, and um, I've gone for a proper AM bolt. Now, if you are designing a car, um, I would recommend going to, um, well, I buy my bolts from Las Aero. Um, you can go to the Las Aero website. I've got the link in the description below. Um, and you can look at the prices of bolts and how much they cost and, and see the, the, the sizes and whatnot. Another supplier as well that's commonly used in the industry is Trident Racing. Um, but yeah, the LAS Aerospace website is really good because you can see the prices and you sometimes find that you know a small change in size um, can have a, a significant impact on the price of the bolt. So it's definitely worth looking at the bolts when you design a component and seeing what size bolts you need because you may want to change the design based on the price of the bolt. I've definitely been caught out by that before. But yeah, my high quality bolts are here. Let's have a look. And because, because these bolts are actually used on aircraft and in the aerospace in industry, they are high quality and they come even with batch numbers and everything for traceability purposes. For us, that's not so critical. We just need to make sure that it looks good visually. Um, but yeah. If I just get my upper wishbone bolts, I've got some slightly longer ones here. I think those are the ones. AN6, so that'll be 3 8 Look at that. Perfect size. Not bad, hey? So I just wanted to take a couple of quick shots, but uh, but you can see the front end is in, look. There's the upper ones, there's the lower ones. And look, I've even got a wishbone attached there. Look, there's the upper wishbone. So, we're in. So I was actually at Silverstone yesterday. I noticed that these ears, although they were kind of made in 16 gauge steel on a lot of the cars, they actually had some support externally around here. So I might weld some tube on just on the outsides of here. I'm not going to do that today though. 